Hello and uh, welcome. I have in front of me a Knaus Live Eye. It's seven and a half meters long. It'll cost 108,000 euros. And if I take you over to the technical details, you can see it's 232 wide, 218, sorry, sorry, outer width 232, inner width 218, and the height is 279 centimeters, internal height two meters. Uh, three ton basis, it'll give you, well, it depends how much you put it on, of course, but it'll give you at least 500 kilos of payload. I do find the empty weight at three tons to be rather hard to believe, but that's what they're saying. They've put these carpets down, and that's just protection, that's what the floor uh, looks like. I would protect it also uh, if this were uh, my uh, display. We've got a bed up there, I'm not going to bring the bed down, but uh, oh, maybe I'll. Shall I, oh, right, shall I try? There you go, I will bring the bed down. I, I, I was a bit nervous about doing that because I decided before I was doing the video I wasn't going to do it uh, because one broke in my hand. And then I, uh, I thought, okay, right, I'll do it. Uh, obviously, the bed lies flat. And to get the bed to lie flat, I'm going to have to put the chairs down. Very nice chairs up front. Can't fault the chairs at all. Uh, it's on a Fiat Ducato basis. Fiat has one or two little problems trying to solve at the moment about uh, delivery. And uh, this indeed, I can see this one's been around a bit because in theory, this Fiat, uh, uh, they stopped production uh, nearly two years ago, in theory. Uh, so the vehicle may have been around that long or maybe what <laughs> Fiat's capable of delivery. I don't know. Now, um, the bear, I personally don't like this covering, but that's me, but there's a choice of covering, so that's not important. Um, what I also don't like, is this here at this price level i would have expected a flat floor and not to keep tripping up every time i walked into the vehicle and that's my opinion uh, people uh, others may think differently very nice large range three hobs sink there space for your uh food preparation it's got this uh, wa blue water filter system and uh, this is supposedly soft close i have noticed that nowadays they do tend to soft close can't fault that. And a 27 inch LED smart TV as an option would fit in there. And if you didn't want that option, a bit difficult to know what else you could actually do with this space in there. Maybe your, your pet snake could stay there or something like that. Okay, I'll have a look at this. Uh, you can see storage up there. And then we'll give the soft close another try. That works. Uh, here is the Thetford fridge, deep fridge. It does come with um, shelves. I presume they're taken out for the aforementioned uh, reason of people taking them out uh, themselves. Uh, and a drawer, uh, sorry, a wardrobe there. Definitely could do with a light, particularly if it's costing a six figure sum. Uh, in here, we've got the uh, washroom and the shower. I'll have a look at the drainage situation. Two drainage uh, points, good. Uh, they're this silly size you can't get filters for, that's bad. And at this price level, once more, I would expect proper uh, domestic or uh, uh, drainage or, 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 or uh, drainage with filters. There you go, put that space on there. And the same goes for that. Uh, I do like a molded sink. Don't like that one though, I don't know why. Anyway, that's, that's just me. Okay, at the back we come here, I've got this uh, HRC mattress, and um, and under here, I'll show, show you under here what this looks like. This actually lifts up, giving access to the uh, wardrobe, which would also benefit from a light. And on this side, I'm, yeah, you, you may think that's a bit of a, a fuss to lift these things up. If you do, then just go in through this way. But I'm doing it this way because it's easier for me. All right, there you go. And that is an excellent wardrobe, in my opinion, other than the fact that it doesn't have a light. And if it pays 100,000, I would expect a light. Yeah, I'll put it down so I don't, not to leave the place messy, if I can. And I'll put this back on there. I can't do it because I've got that caught in there. So I'll put this over there like that. I'll have another go at putting this down. Yeah, that worked. And I'll put this across and uh, good. Uh, now, 
that's the sort of fun and games you expect if you get one like this. Having said that is a really good opening. And what is not very good is this. What's the point of that? It's got no covers to it. And, and at least this one, but hey, it's got this. That's got nothing. Right, putting in a system like the Kipo system, elastics or, or something like that will add next to nothing to the cost of the vehicle. But it hasn't been done. I do appreciate that every cent counts. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's my opinion here. Bit of a ledge there. Relatively deep inside. Under here, what have we got? Well, have we got USBs? No. Have we got electricity? No, but we can turn the lights on and off from there. Right, so... No, I mean, what is the point of that without, if you can't charge your phone up there? Okay, good. Now, uh, positive point here, it's got... Uh, it's got... Ow. <laughs> Hit my head. Um, this, I think, maybe it could be a bit longer, but um, if you actually made the bed out to around wherever it goes uh, with this thing, you know, there you go, it goes around there, then that gives you a bit of privacy. I suppose it'd be better for a bit longer, but I do strongly recommend cloth over solid doors. This is, it's a good quality cloth, and uh, I think that would give a privacy uh, from the people who are sleeping uh, up there. Okay, good. Um, let's 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 come out and have a look round the outside. Uh, we've got here is a large garage with individual compartments for keeping all the stuff you keep in your garage. That's all the stuff related to fixing your van, uh, your camp at life and all the junk you carry around with you because you don't know where to put it. Uh, in there, two gas canisters, great. Um, be better though if I had a function to actually pull them out and that's not going to be possible in there. There you go, Cat's Eye Evolution Rear Lights, Knaus Fold Expand Roof Concept. Okay, <laughs> whatever that is. And... Um, here, they've got this thing called a service box, which I uh, I think is a good idea. I thought it was a bit daft the first time I saw it, but they've improved on it. Uh, the first time, they didn't have the... <laughs> it was difficultly getting this thing here in. But now, what you do is you thread your um, electric, your hookup, through there, and then you thread the other end. And the people, if somebody wants to uh, steal it, they'd, then they'd have to break into this first so as that's probably quite comparatively difficult i don't know uh then they just go to the next camper van and seal it on from them there water i think service box everything one position very good there's your truma heating exhaust and here we have diesel there oh and you add blue as well right a live eye um just to have a look at the um, equivalent vehicles in Cartago and Heimer, which are uh, admittedly, uh, I would say, slightly more expensive than this, uh, uh, but uh, they can offer far more than this does. And also, this has Knaus quality, uh, which is something uh, I don't think a great deal of. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting. I upload every day at 2115 the largest site on motorhomes and camper vans on the uh, on youtube and so you get honest reviews from me i don't just repeat what the manufacturers want you to say but if you want to hear what the manufacturers uh, want you to say uh, want you want you to know uh, then there's plenty of people doing that thanks for being here and all the best from me in germany